Welcome guys, my name is Dan C. Bearded for anybody new to the channel and this is one of the most requested videos I've ever had and that is the heated brush. How does the heated brush work on the beard? What's the health implications? Everything you need to know. So it's gonna be one of those quick little videos from the bathroom so it'll be a little bit different today. And the heated brush that I'm using was sent to me actually by my buddy Tyson. So Tyson, thank you man. I've never talked to this company or anything. And the one that we're looking at is Rashidi. I'm not exactly fancy enough to know how to pronounce that, but I'll put a link in the description, guys. And Tyson's done a lot of research and trial and error, and he says that this is the best one that he's tried for a couple reasons. And right now it's on Amazon for $34.99, free shipping. And it comes in this box here, it comes with a couple things, a um, little bag to put it in once you have the heat on there, and then this real fancy heat resistant glove, which I have not opened or used. <laughs> But what's good about this is it's smaller, but it also has really nice deep teeth. Another advantage to it is I'm gonna plug it in right now so you guys can see how long it takes to heat up. And I'm gonna go with the setting here, turn it on. They got five different settings. I'm gonna go with 338. That's the one that seems to be my sweet spot. But what's really nice here is the teeth are deep and the heating coils or the heating mechanism are actually in the teeth and it goes all the way up. So when you have like a deeper or thicker beard like myself, it really does a good job of being able to get into the, the teeth of the beard and really do a great job. Now it's already heated up fully. So every time I've done this, it's been about 30 seconds, which is really, really quick. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys how this works for my beard, and then I'm gonna break it down some advantages and disadvantages. All right, so my beautiful wife Sam C is here with us for this <laughs> review today. She's just behind the camera. So when I do this, I just take a couple swipes through it and I always put in oil beforehand. I shower, I dry my beard with a towel to about 90%, I put in the oil and I let it sit for at least five minutes. That's really important. You don't wanna put fresh oil and then go through it, but you wanna have that heat, heat resistance protection. And I strongly believe that any quality beard oil will do the job. They have like argan heat shields out there and I think that those are borderline gimmicks because a beard oil would do the same thing, all right? So it's heated up here. I'm just gonna make a pass through. I get this right to my, my cheeks. It's not that hot. You can have it to the touch and it doesn't do anything too bad. So here we go. And you can see how it's kinda, get my beard a little bit crazy there and I'll go through it. Straight down, nice and easy. And you can see how quick and easy this is. And then one big thing that I really, really like for this is to be able to get out dips and waves. I have a way that I do that with the blow dryer, but this is nice and quick. And that's gonna be the idea of going to the side. So I'm gonna take my beard here, and I'm gonna part, and I'm really gonna comb it out to the side. And this is really going to straighten my beard. All right. And this is really all it is here. This is gonna help me get those problem areas when I have under my lip, on the jawline, and that's probably my favorite thing for this device, is to get out those problem areas immediately. Nice and quick, nice and easy. All right, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna style it up real quick for you guys, and I'm gonna talk about my overall thoughts here, overall thoughts here. I'll make sure I get that turned off and unplugged. All right, get the beard together. Not my normal routine, but you get the idea. So not bad. So some thoughts on the heated brush versus my morning routine where I have a blow dry. The heated brush is quicker, quieter, and easier. When I'm getting ready in the morning, I'm the only one up in the house. Our house has really thin walls. Jax's room is above us and he can hear the blow dryer sometimes. So it's a huge advantage to be quiet in the morning and it's quick and it's easy. A couple passes and you're good. But it doesn't do as good of a job as the blow dryer. The blow dryer is better for my style in the morning. It's close, but it's not as good. When I go through with the heated brush, it leaves my beard hairs extremely straight, but my beard sticks out a little bit puffier. And then when I go in with the blow dryer, it gives me that nice beard texture and it lays flatter. So it's the better of the two worlds there. As the day goes on, they kind of catch up to each other and are about the same, but it is not quite as good as the blow dryer. I also feel that it's a little bit harsher on my beard than the blow dryer. I can feel it just a little bit drier. It seems a little bit more brittle but nothing where I think major damage is happening, but it's not something that I would wanna do every day. So my use for this is absolutely going to be once or twice a week when I wanna be quick and easy, 
or I want to address problem areas and I want to handle those very, very easily, it has a place. It's definitely something I was very skeptical against these because of the heat damage I thought that could have happened. But I'm now a believer. It's just not a full-time believer. I'm going to mix in my blow dryer routine with the heated brush routine and kind of try to get the best of both worlds in there. So to leave you guys with a question, who has tried the heated brush? What do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What are the pros? What are the cons? Leave any thoughts down below. For me, it's not taking over my mornings, but it's now had a spot. It's in the rotation. It's something that I can use. It's a tool. I will continue to use this, try this, and I'll keep you guys updated with my thoughts in the future. Check out the link. Let me know if you know a better heated brush or one that works for you or that doesn't work for you. Hey, this is an open discussion for you guys to help out the community as well. So thank you guys. I hope you learned a little bit today. Stay bearded and stay positive.